Love you, Baba. Have fun. All right, Friday. Cash has a uh, field trip today, so we will be going. Uh, With mom today, mom's gonna go with them. Oh, I got a cool Tesla in front of us. Very nice. I didn't know they had the light all the way across the top of the window. That's cool. Pretty, pretty. All right, let's go look for loads again today. See what we got. Good morning. Hi. Oh, I scared you? I'm sorry. Tiki. Tiki. Tiki, it's Kyle and Bubba. Good morning. Hey, Tiki. Did you sleep good? Yeah. Yeah? Hey. Tiki's good. Tiki, oh, did you sleep good? Um, we got your skateboard. Yeah. Look. Right here. They were at the sushi restaurant last night that I got mama food. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that cool? There's skeleton. Yeah, skeleton skateboarding. Yeah. All right. Well, good morning. Hi. There was a load going to Winter Haven from Duncan, uh, and it was listed at sixteen hundred, and then it went to seventeen hundred. It got off the board, so somebody probably took that for seventeen. I love that. Which I mean, you'll probably get a thousand bucks after your your uh, thousand bucks to the bank account to the net profit after fuel and everything else and maintenance, but. <laughs> I guess it's just those times, you know, I'm going to start taking those and deadhead back to Savannah and, and start, um, I guess, start making a thousand bucks per every two days, which is not ideal. You try to make a thousand dollars per day, but uh, we'll try to go for that then and get our Florida run still going. Got our Circle K coffee and uh, we're going to keep looking, see if another one of those pops up. Yeah. Yeah. Kai Kai. Kai yeah. You want to turn on the race car? Yeah. Oh, he does? Okay. Well, he just said, you do the race car. Yeah, but now all of a sudden, he wants to do it. Oh, my goodness. Ready? Close it. Close it? You mean open it? It's always the opposite of Kylan. Whatever is opposite is opposite. All right. No load still, but T-Dubs is going on it. Whoa, on a field trip with uh, Cash. All right, I love you. We're going like that. He goes, Mama, I want kissies. Now his kissies on the corner. Oh. It is 36 degrees. I gotta winterize the boat. It's getting a little too cold out here. Ugh. All right, but yeah, well, look, loads are. Uh, what is that? Oh, let's go play Roblox. All right, bye, Mama. Bye, I love you. Kiss, man. Have fun. All right, love you. Bye, beautiful. We're taking the Mama car. So this is something I've been having my mind on for a while. Just haven't found the right fit. And uh, this popped up into my feed the other day. I got a lead on it, so I said, okay. Uh, oh, we got to get the keys. Green? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you to our awesome buddy, Stan. Let us borrow his trailer again. What do you want to go see? Hey, what do you want to go see? Yeah. yeah. It's going to die. Okay. Hey, what do you want to see? I see the skeletons. <laughs> do you see? Do you see him? See the skeleton? I can't see his face. Okay, let's go closer. We can see his face. Ooh, he's standing up there. He's a big skeleton. You see him? We go so bad. Whoa. Can we go so bad? We will when we come back when we drop the trailer off. Okay. Let's get going. Little man needs to pee, so we're gonna stop at exit four. I need to pee. You need to pee. <laughs> Almost into Georgia, and uh, should be smooth sailing. Hope we can get through Atlanta uh, before traffic hits, and then come back through Atlanta before traffic hits again. We'll see. Let's see how, uh, how long it takes to load uh, what we're getting, because it's a ten-foot trailer from front to back, and the what we're getting is 10 foot 3 inches, so yeah. We might have to remove the um, ramp just to make it fit. We'll see. We're going to hit the loves over here that I hit a lot with the uh, old semi truck when I come through South Carolina going to Georgia. All right. It's not the best uh, 
parking situation at this Loves, which we all know, it's, it's limited, plus it's hard to get in some of the spots. But we're in the wife's car today, so 3BB Mom, thank you for lend, lending us your uh, super clean SUV. The little man's got all he needs back there. Uh-oh, Ford's got the hood popped over there. Hopefully he's all right. Someone's asking him, he's like, yeah, I'm good. Looks like he's changing his air filter. All right, let's get right here. So we can get back out. You go, baby. They are pulling that ice machine forward. Let's go, baby. All right, let's go, baby. Right back there. Go bathroom. Watch out. That's <laughs> right. Let's go, baby. Yeah, it's gonna go, baby. Let's go. Don't slip. Okay, don't slip. Let's go to the. Let's go that one. Yep. Way station is open, but they're getting the bypass. The flatbed right there got the bypass. Coming into Georgia. What are you doing back there? Are you eating peanut butter M&Ms? Yummy. Yeah, they got, they're open, but they're just not, a, not full at it right now. It's a nice W9, a little 70 inch, 76 inch sleeper. 72, sorry. All right, and we're following FedEx. Got about another 90 miles on 85, and then we'll shoot up to 75. So we get an exit 288, Cartersville. I don't think this, yeah, this isn't the Budweiser exit, but I picked up a lot of loads here. Uh, in Cartersville for Budweiser, my first year, my first like, year and a half, um, picking up heavy loads going all over the south. And, I don't think I really took them too far. It was always like 200, 300 mile loads. But this is also the hometown of uh, Trevor Lawrence, the quarterback that plays from Jacksonville. So we're gonna we're about 50 miles away from our pickup now and get our, our different load for the day going. Somebody's in good spirits back there, so that's a good thing. He's my little my little buddy. We'll probably stop real quick one more time. We've only stopped it once on a 200 mile hike. Uh, but he's been entertaining himself with the iPad. Here we go. Let's cross over. We're going to do it with time zone change, too, because we go to Alabama for just across the border. And, uh, yeah, we got about 50 miles left. Let's do it. We stopped for a little bit at lunch break because he said he was hungry. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And we're almost there. So. Hello. Come with, me. Come with me on kind of a work day today. We are going through Cedar Springs right now. Just turned right on Alabama Street. Yeah. Cute little town. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I want to go to the The Peddler. Yeah, Fudge. No, 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 no. Kyla, look at the pumpkins on the left. See the pumpkins? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pumpkins over there. We're only about 20 miles away. Scary. And we're almost in Alabama. That was an old house there on the left. Old town. Anybody know anything about Cedar Springs? There we go. We're going. <laughs> Sorry, not Cedar Springs. Cave Spring. Yeah. Yeah. I never done. Cave Springs. Cave Springs. We stay on this for 18 miles, and we are there. Beautiful countryside out here. Oh, hay rides, bunker picking, pedal cars, okay. Looks like they have their own little fall festival. See the cows? Kai Kai? Cows. Cows. Moo. Moo. <laughs> uh, we should be entering Alabama in the next half mile. So what we're getting today is kind of something I've been, I've been keeping my eye on and wanting it for a long time. And uh, look for loads this morning, just nothing happening again, so. I was rejected by a couple offers by J.B. Hunt. Okay, Rocky Hollow Pumpkin Patch. And then there was just nothing else that was even looking good. Was $1.60 a mile, $1.40 a mile, $2 a mile down into Florida, and then dead heading back. So, Casey's back home at your house. Is he playing you on Roblox? Um, yep. Wow. And we just went into Alabama. There's the line. Boom. 
we go. So we only have about 14 miles on this sweet home Alabama. Uh, but yeah, something I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get it. He's pretty straightforward with what I'm getting, but uh, I want to check it out, lay eyes on it. So I said, t -Dubs, I might just head out there this morning. She said, if it'll make you happy, then go for it. I am happy. I'm blessed with, in life. I can't complain about anything. This is just one more thing that I feel like I should. My motto with life is live it while you can. I mean, if I wait till I get older and older and older, I'm not going to enjoy it. So uh, I've saved up. I've done good for myself with not only YouTube, but also trucking. And even though it's down right now, I've set myself up where I really don't. Um, I need to run. I need to pay my mortgages. I have a $1,000 mortgage at the main house and a $1,050 mortgage at the uh, other house. So I can do that pretty pretty easily. Insurance is about is already done for the year, which equipment's paid off, so uh, I'm blessed with a situation where we lose internet. We're probably away from internet right now, Bubba. That's probably why. So I um, just set myself up for that and had a little nest egg kind of saved, and we spent a good portion of that getting that lake house help down payment. Me, help me, help me. I'll help you, babe. We'll get the, uh, the internet will probably come back when we get close to this. We're going by Weiss Lake. Kicked you out? Okay, I'll check my internet. W E I S S. Um, that's where nope. this guy lives off of. Nope, no, no, internet. no internet. Okay, it'll come back. But um, nope. yeah, and all my investments, I never buy anything new. I, I don't buy new stuff. I don't buy this car was used. The Ram we have is used. The Hellcat we have is used. They're all, uh, I, I call them equity. We, we could sell them to make money from selling them. So that's what kind of what I do. I try to take care of my own stuff, repair myself, don't have bigger bills, and uh, keep my truck running good, and keep doing that. But this is a little toy that I kind of wanted for a long time, and you know what color I like on my uh, vehicles. <laughs> so this bike was the same color. Oh, I just said it, the bike. So we're gonna look at it today and see uh, if it's right for us. It was a bit of a drive, but it fit the mold of what I was looking for. So let's see if it is uh, all it can be. It's the very tip of that lake. Kind of see it on the map that it was coming up. All right, and then uh, we can stay forward two more miles. We just came into Centre. Um, it must be cotton harvest time because there's a lot of big old giant bales of uh, cotton. I'd like to see the <coughs> machine that they use for that because it looks like a tight weave. We <laughs> Tightly woven it, woves it, weaves it into a big roll. That machine right there might be one of them, right there on the left. That's probably it. it. Just like scoops it up and rolls it out the back, and then these trucks are carrying like eight of them at a time. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the machine right there on the left. All right. Just wonder how much that thing costs. Good half a million. And then they're totally in the field the field getting it ready for next time but yeah it's definitely harvest time it's all over the side of the roads <laughs> the trucks are going by and it hasn't like fallen off the bag and we're turning up here on our next ride okay we're looking for one three nine five that's one two four five one th one two eight five let's see what we got Oh, I see it. Okay. Man, it looks pretty from here. <laughs> what is that up there? A big old house up there, and they're doing some kind of rock work. Oh, my goodness. That thing is pretty. It is shiny. Okay. Wow. I didn't even notice that the... Uh... Well, that's a nice bike. All right. Let's look this thing over. It's okay. Let it down. We'll charge it. Let's leave it right here. I'm going to see puppies. Come see the bike. Come on. Look at puppy. Come on. Look at puppy. Are the puppies nice? All right, you can pet the puppy. He's like, maybe he's scared of you. So what do you think, Kai Kai? Well, besides, besides the puppy, what do you think of the bike? Kai Kai. He doesn't care. I'm Justin, man. Nice to meet you, man. So getting married, huh? Oh, yeah. How long have you been knowing the lady? Eight years. Eight years? I've been married eight years. <laughs> we got married for three days, man. Me and my wife. Crazy story. Hey, hey, Kai Kai. <laughs> Kylan. <laughs> Stop it, crazy. He wants the pets. He wants the pets. Look, he wants the pets. Oh, it's your pets. 
There you go. See, he's like Tiki, just a lot bigger. He's a nice puppy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's, it's even prettier than it is in the pictures, man. Uh, they don't, man. It's so pretty. Jeez. Yeah, so these are the lights. Right here, okay. Pretty bright, not bad. I mean, oh, yeah. You're seeing pretty good at that. At night, they really pop, huh? Oh, yeah. Man. So it's a 110 now. It's built to a 110. Built to a 110. Okay. Woo wee. Pretty man. And then I saw those. What are those air boxes over here? Or these right here? Yeah. Different in the picture. You had like two circle things on there. Yeah, that was fans. Oh, those are fans. Yeah, they, I had took them off. A while. Okay. Did it, did it help at all? Um, it did in like a stop and go situation. Yeah, but if you're rolling, cruising. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, like bumper to bumper, you sit there 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Kind of. Just depends on if you sit there and rivet a lot. Or if you were like cruising through a, a bike show or down in, at yeah. Panama City, yeah. you want to keep it cold. Man, that thing's pretty dead. All righty. Harvest season, huh? Little man says he is hungry. So we're gonna do a quick stop right here. At exit 283, there's a loves to the right. Or left, sorry. Uh, another one that's not very, um, not very good on parking. Oh, well, let's see if we're gonna miss this trailer. Oh yeah, it tracks really good. I thought I was gonna get close to that curb. Nope, it tracks right behind the Escalade. I guess we get a little fuel in the old Escalade. It's about a quarter tank. Just don't want to have this trailer sticking out too far. I'm happy. You happy? Yeah. Or you're hungry? I'm hungry. Yeah, you're hungry. Let's get you some food. All right, stick that trailer as back far as we can. Yeah, baby. Whoa! Little man is on the roll. Pretty cool, huh? All right, she is towing well. Man. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Let's get it back home. Come on. <laughs> Crazy boy. Let's get some food. Let's get some food. Too fast. Too fast? I'm sorry. She's all fueled up. Let's get back on the road. There's downtown Atlanta. We saved about 11 minutes by going uh, just down to the 85 instead of taking 285 like all the trucks have to the truck route. So we'll see if it actually paid off. It should. Um, little man's asleep. He's snoring back there. So I pray he uh, sleeps the rest of the way. Or actually, I'll probably wake him up because uh, T Dub doesn't want him sleeping too early because then he'll wake up during the night. But there's downtown Atlanta. Cruising nice and slow. Bikes secured. I checked it at the QT. And we're going to take a nice little hairpin and get on 85. Man, it's bright. Da, da, da. What is that? I wonder what those tents are. Is it like a circus? Those white tents over there. Uh, what does it say on the Circus de Soleil? Circus de Soleil. Isn't that a Vegas thing? Who knows? Well, it's in Atlanta if you want to come see it. If you're on the 85 southbound tonight, prayers for you, T's and P's. Um, and the Ford Expedition that was on its side with this trailer was pulling like a travel trailer on its side too. So it's backed up. It, it, the accident's way back there, so it's backed up for days. So prayers for that. I'm sure it messed up some clocks and you had to get, get where you're going where you're going. I uh, pray I can be out there with you guys. I'm going to keep looking for loads for tomorrow and Sunday. I just got to get this baby back home, get him to sleep, and uh, unload this bike, which is going to be challenging, but we should be able to get it done. We're just going through the way station now. Um, he 
just got done watching Lightning McQueen. I think he's dozing a little bit in and out, but yeah, it's backed up forever on that 85 northbound. Just lost the trailer. A lot of people don't realize, and I didn't realize this either until I really got into uh, not even towing boats, but just kind of weight distribution. It really gets put instilled in you when you're a truck driver. If you have too much weight in the back of your trailer or even the front of your trailer, it will cause your truck to fishtail or the trailer to kind of wobble back and forth really bad. So um, that might have been what happened there. They might have loaded a bunch of weight in the back of that travel trailer or in the front, and that just puts the balance of the whole thing off. And so that's why a lot of people, when they are lo loading your truck trailer, your dry van, your flatbed, they they have to be pretty well versed on the weight distribution and where they got to put it. Like the last, okay, where do you want this? Sometimes and I say this is the only load. Like you just put it in the middle of the trailer and go from there. So they, they'll do that. They'll center it up or they'll start from the front but not all the way up and then bring it to the back. So that kind of stuff. Yeah, weight distribution is very big. And then that travel trailer up was probably part of the problem. Or maybe it was just someone getting behind them or hitting them or cutting them off. Who knows? But prayers for that. T's and P's. And we're trying to get home uh, just like you guys are too. And, I feel for you guys. I've been in that same situation. Just, just waiting to go. So. All right. Let's keep getting this baby home. Well, I appreciate you, first of all. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. I love to You can come see it. Uh, but Stan and them are on their way. Okay. Well, um, I wanna ride you can come see it real quick. Can you give me the keys to the red truck? I got to move it. Yeah. Can I come? You come check out the bike. You can see it real quick. <laughs> what do you think? You can You can sit on it. You can sit on it. Put your head up. Put your leg over it. There you go. What do you think, dude? Sit. No, no, no. Don't stand. Sit side to side. What do you think? Go. You like it? You like it or no? Okay. How do I turn it? It is the next morning. It is beautiful today. It's supposed to be 75 and uh, hot shotting with the uh, Escalade. I don't know if that was considered that, but it was kind of a different type of load, right? We took a different load today, so... Or yesterday and um, tank was a trooper he went with me the whole time did a great job this is just something i've always kind of wanted the freedom i'm 42 years old now and uh i've worked hard i've saved up i went through all my paid my dues with the volvo but rebuilt that motor stayed out there all the time took uber loads all over the place so i know a lot of you guys are doing a lot more than me and are out there for months at a time but um, i put myself in this position and that's kind of what i'm trying to lead by example for you guys of what you can do with trucking Timing was a big deal for me though. I came in perfectly at 2018 and I rode it from 18. 19 was okay, it dipped off for a bit. We did that whole PPP loan thing. Everybody was kind of struggling and then it took off again. And then we had a great time, but now it's even more of a struggle than it was back then. So uh, buying stuff like this, I did not pay what you would think for this bike. That's what I, that's what I was looking for. I had a certain price in my mind and uh, I wanted to stay at that or below that. And I got this right at that. So. It's a huge blessing for me. We did our little hot shot load and uh, Casey just went for his first ride. <laughs> You'll see that on 3BB, um, but it is beautiful. Uh, T-Dubs and I took it out last night and just kind of rode. I do need some glasses for nighttime because you get your eyes watery, but um, yeah, that's our hot shot load. That's what we did yesterday. Tank and I went all the way up to border of Alabama to get it. And uh, it's a fun, it's so much freedom in that thing. It is beautiful and it's not the price you think it would be. Everything I bought used, 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 um, and I repair myself. And that's what you got to do if you want to, same thing in the trucking industry. If you want to stay in the game, you have to learn how to work on these little things with your truck. And um, I'm an example kind of of that with the rates the way they are right now. I can't really preach like, hey, this is a great time to get in trucking. This is what to do right now. But there's the opportunities that come in. And also YouTube does help me a lot. YouTube does give me a substantial amount of income as long as I'm also making content for you guys. So I don't want to give you too much non-trucking content. I want to get out there and truck again, but kind of bring you through my life and my family and my journey as a trucker. And that's what I'll continue to do. So we'll get in there and uh, keep going, but this is the new addition to the family. And uh, I, it's just riding it right now with the casing through the park. It's just so liberating, it's free. So all you Harley guys, I'm sure you know, it is a uh, 2009 Street Glide Harley Davidson that's been fully customized, stretched tank, uh, 110 cc motor, domed pistons, um, really fast is what that, all that means. And um, has a speaker system that just won the beginner class, which is a four speaker class for uh, Daytona Bike Week. So <laughs> really cool guy, he's building a new one. He's got a um, turbo uh, 2020 
Street Glide again uh, with the 32 inch front wheel. This is the 30 inch front wheel. So cool stuff. Really cool to meet him and learn all about the stuff that he has. It also has a little back uh, cabinet thing that, you, that I can put on for T-dubs. Um, I have that in the back of the Escalade that's painted to match. So I just had to get the hardware to put it on. So that's it guys. A uh, hot shot load to get something different, but it wasn't really a hot shot. It was just T-dubs Escalade, but I'm praying for the loads. Just like I've been saying all since July, pretty much when it fell off, uh, that we'll get something going. There is stuff out there, but I'm going to start having to take seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars to Orlando. That's what I'm going to have to do. There's still money to be made there, but it's a fine line of wear and tear on your truck and fuel and all that. But it still pays the bills, still pays the mortgage, and all that kind of stuff. So we'll get out there and get that going, guys. But I'm going to enjoy a Saturday with T Dubs. Clemson's playing uh, Syracuse today. Should be a good game. Both are ranked, and Syracuse plays a hard game. So uh, we might take that bike to a, a little sports bar and watch that. Who knows? But on that note, God bless you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.